So do you also use jot form for your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. And in this video, we are going to understand how to create Apollo.io contact on jot form submission. So we're here, I'm running a digital marketing agency and we get the details of our potential clients with the form submission made on jot form. So now what I want is that as soon as a new form submission is made in my jot form account, automatically with the help of the same potential client details, a new contact should be created in my apollo.io too so that we can follow up quickly and efficiently so to do this we are going to create a connection between jot form and apollo.io to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use Pabli connect it is an amazing automation software so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen welcome to my screen everyone so as you know in this today's tutorial i'll show you how to automatically create create new contact in apollo.io whenever there's a jot form submission this will help you to streamline lead management keeping your sales pipeline organized and ready for follow-ups so let's get started with a really simple example so as i've already mentioned in my introduction that i'm running a digital marketing agency and i use this form in order to collect the details of my potential clients so let's say that my name is dummy user and i want to submit this inquiry right over here so as you can see all the details which i've entered and now i'm going to click on on submit and as soon as we need to click on submit yes you can see your submission has been received so now i'm just going to open my apollo.io account and we are going to refresh this people right over here to check that if a new contact has been created in apollo.io or not and yes you can see a new contact has been created automatically without any manual efforts in real time you can see the same name and the same email which we entered right so yes this is the automation we are going to learn in today's tutorial and if you also want to create this automation for your business then you have to watch this video till the end so in order to do this i've simply opened the landing page of pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser it is very easy and as soon as we need to open the landing page of pabli we are going to get two options one is sign in and the other one is sign up for free so if you are in news you can click on sign up for free and you're going to get 100 of dollars free every month but over here i'm an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in and as soon as we need to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications, which is Apollo.io and Jotform, right? So I'm just going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And as soon as we need to click on access now right over here, it is going to open my dashboard. Okay, so as you can see that now it is opening the dashboard and now we have to click on this button which says create workflow. And now it is asking me for the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So where here I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as this which says how to create apollo.io contact on jotform submission jotform to apollo.io and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we're going to click on create it is opening the most important window for automation which is our workflow window. So this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So by this you can understand understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can finally understand that the actions are response towards the commands given by our trigger and in order to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so for my trigger application i'm going to select it as jot form right over here so i'm just going to search for jot form and as you can see the same so we're going to select it right over here and as soon as we need to select the trigger application it is asking me for the trigger event so basically trigger event is the event on which the workflow will start so here what i want is that as soon as a new response is captured my workflow should be triggered or started and as soon as we need to do so it is giving me a webbook url so we're going to use this same webbook url in order to create a connection between our jotform account and our public connects workflow so what we have to do is first we're going to copy this webbook url and then we're going to follow this help text and it is saying log into your jotform account open the form in the form builder and then click on settings tab navigate to the integration tab search for webhooks click on webhooks copy paste the webhook url in the add webhook field okay we are going to follow the same i'm just going to open my jot form account right from here and as you can see that this is my jot form account okay and over here you can see all the forms which i've already created but i want to create this automation for this form which is service inquiry form okay so for that i'm just going to click on edit form right over here so you have to keep in mind 
time that you have to select the same form for which you want to create this automation. And now after selecting our form, what we have to do is we are just going to go on the settings right from here. And now from the left side of the bar, we have to look for integrations. And as you can see the same, so we are just going to go towards the integrations. And after coming on towards the integrations, we are going to search for webhooks right over here. So I'm just going to search for webhooks. And as you can see the same, so we're going to select it. And now it is saying add webhook. Okay, so we are just going to erase this HTTP first. And then we're going to paste the webhook URL which we copied from our workflow so as you can see that this is my webhook url and i pasted it right over here and then we're going to click on this green button which says complete integration and as soon as we're going to click on this button yes you can see integration ready you have successfully created your integration so yes with this we have successfully created a connection between our dot form account and our public connects workflow and now it is saying waiting for a webhook response and in the notes it is saying do a test submission slash record so in order to capture this webhook response we have to do a test submission or record okay so what we have to do is we have to test our connection for that i'm just going to open my jot form once again and what we're going to do is i'm just going to go on this publish right from here and as you can see that this is the shareable link so i'm just going to open this link in a new tab and as you can see that this is my form okay so let's say that we're going to fill in the details right over here once again with the new name okay so for the name i'm going to keep it as demo user for the email let's say that i'm going to keep it as demo user at the rate publitudes.com now i'm going to enter the country code right over here we're going to move on forward we are going to enter the phone number it is asking me for the company name so for the company name i'm going to keep it as this and now for the company size let's say that i'm going to keep it as this and now it is asking me for the types of service required so for that i'm going to keep it as content creation and now it is saying are you interested in a demo so i'm just going to click on yes and click on submit and as now i'm going to click on submit yes you can see your submission has been received so now what has happened is that dot form has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow so i'm just going to open my workflow right from here and as you can see that probably has captured the response of the same you can see all the details which we entered okay or you can see the same phone number or you can see the same email which we entered the same first name the last name over here you can see all the details which we entered are exactly the same so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step and now what will happen is that as soon as a new response is captured in my jot form account which is as soon as we receive a new form submission automatically probably is going to trigger this workflow and capture the response for the same right over here too okay so we're going to move on forward now what i want is i want to create a polo.io contact on dot form submission okay so now for the action application i'm going to select it as apollo.io so i'm just going to search for apollo.io right over here and as you can see apollo so i'm just going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as create contact and click on connect and as soon as we're going to click on connect it is asking me to add a new connection or select an existing connection so if you have already connected your apollo account with your public connects workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api key and it is saying you can get the api key from here so here you can see there's a hyperlink on here okay so i'm just going to click on this hyperlink given right over here so i'm just going to click on this hyperlink and now it is redirecting me to my apollo account and their developer section oh you can see that from the left side of the bar it is saying api keys so we have to go on this api keys so as you can see that this was really easy because i've already logged in my apollo account previously before starting with the automation so it is always advised to log in our applications previously before starting with the automation only it makes the procedure easy okay and now we are going to click on this create new key right over here now it is asking for the key name so let's say that for the key name i'm going to keep it as jot form so i'm just going to enter jot form right over here and after entering the key name it is asking me for the description so if you wish you can definitely add so but i don't wish to add so so i'm just going to leave it as blank it is saying api so for that i'm going to select it as contacts created because i want to create a contact right so we have to select this api slash v1 slash contact slash create okay and then we're going to click on this blue button which says create api key and as soon as we're going to do so yes over here you can see that we have successfully created a new api key named short form where you can see the api key so i'm just going to copy this api key right from here and we're going to go back towards our workflow and paste it right over here and after pasting this we are going to click on save and as soon as we want to click on save yes you can see that we have successfully connected our polo account with our public connects workflow now it is asking for the first name the last name the organization name and the email so yes we are going to enter all of these details which we received in the response of our jot form you can see all the details received like the first name the last name the email we are going to enter all of these details only right over here in the step of apollo which is the action step okay but we are not going to enter these details manually 
manually or copy paste the details but instead we are going to map it so you must be wondering what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know previous step was the trigger step where we selected dot form as our trigger application so we are just going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so with here i'm going to give you an example that it is asking me for the first name right so let's say that i'm going to enter the first name right away here manually or by copy pasting it like this then this will not change with every new response received because this is static information and i've entered it manually but if we're going to map this from the previous response let's say that i'm going to search for first name in the previous response and as you can see the same so let's say that if we are going to map this from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change right that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time so as we map the first name we are going to map the last name too i'm just going to look for last name right over here and as you can see users we're going to map it we are going to move on forward over here we are going to map the organization name which is the company name so i'm just going to search for company name in the previous response and as you can see pabli too so we are going to map it we are going to move on forward we are going to map the email too i'm just going to search for email and as you can see the same so we are going to map it we are going to move on forward you can see that it is asking me for many another details so no i don't have these details of my lead so i'm just going to leave it as blank if you wish you can definitely add these details too also you can see these details are not the required details okay so i'm just going to click on this blue button with say save and send as request and as soon as we're going to click on save and send as request yes you can see that we have successfully received a positive response that with this name we have successfully created a new contact in our apollo.io so i'm just going to open my apollo.io account and we're going to refresh this page in order to check that if a new contact has been created or not and as soon as we're going to refresh this page yes you can see a new contact has been created you can see the same name and the same email which we entered right so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now i'll just test this workflow once and this time i'm going to give you a real time example so once again we're going to open the form we are going to refresh this in order to do another test submission we're going to enter the new details right over here for the name i'm going to keep it as test user right over here for the email i'm going to keep it as test user 55 at the rate pavlitudes.com i'm just going to enter the country code right over here we're going to move on forward enter the phone number okay for the company name let's say that i'm going to keep it as pavli con so i'm just going to enter it right over here now for the company size let's say i'm going to keep it as this type of service required for that let's say that i'm going to keep it as digital marketing and now to saying are you interested in demo i'm going to keep it as yes and click on submit and as soon as we need to click on submit it is saying your submission has been received so now what has happened is that dot form has sent the details of our test submission to our workflow pabli captured the response trigger the workflow and further created a new contact in our apollo account so what we are going to do is i'm just going to open my apollo.io account and check for the new contact created and this time we are not going back to our workflow and clicking on see when sent test request i'll directly open my apollo.io account right from here and we're going to refresh this people page to check for the new contact created and as soon as we're going to refresh this yes you can see the new contact has been created you can see the same name which we entered and the same email which we entered right so yes with this we have successfully completed our workflow and now what will happen is that as soon as the new response is received from my dot form form submission automatically with the help of the same potential client details a new contact would be created in my apollo.io too without any manual efforts this workflow is going to run in backend and now i can just sit back and relax so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just close on this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching so not only these applications but with the help of pabli connect you can integrate many more applications so if you have any doubts you can reach us at support@pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching